It's a wrap took to the coast recently on the invitation of some entrepreneurial young Namibians who have been reaping the benefits of the country's fishing industry and unveiled our first 42% Namibian-owned fishing vessel, the Hainaster, at the port of Walfish Bay. Check this out. A couple of years back, we were approached by uh, our partners today, the JV, Cinco, Panko and Yugo, because they were looking for a strategic partner to do this operation here. We had access to vessels and the know-how, the markets and so and so, so they, they needed some partners in that aspect. So there where we came in. We are creating jobs in the country, uh, not both directly on board the vessels with crew and then indirectly with uh, because we are buying goods and services all around so we are obviously important to the local economy. I would like to firstly thank uh, my late uncle Yatoivo and the late Kapia who were founding members of Dunes. They gave us this opportunity as young people to enter the fishing industry. This is a huge milestone in the history of the fishing industry in Namibia as this is the, one of the only flag vessels in the last seven years, adding to the five, six that have been flagged since independence. So for us as a young person, it's a huge opportunity because we have another seven years possibly to be in an industry that has a resource that comes from our home country. There are more than 350 right holders at the moment. So the current minister, Bennett Asa, has definitely opened it up to as many Namibians. Uh, and on the scorecard, the more Namibians you have representing the various regions, the more likelihood you will benefit from the fishing rights. So this time around, there are more, many more players in the industry, so the opportunity has been spread all across the board. And if you look at fishing versus many other sectors, fishing has more participants from uh, disadvantaged uh, backgrounds. I got involved in the fishing industry in 2011, where the minister uh, and the government called for new entrants to apply for fishing rights, which became available uh, for all Namibians to apply. Um, it's, uh, the event today is a huge milestone. Um, because uh, having, in, having Namibian owned vessels in the fishing industry is, is, is a huge step towards the Namibianization and the localization of the actual fishery. For many years it's been foreign companies which have been running our industry and basically just paying quota holders for the use of their quota. As you can see now with, with this setup, the Namibian companies have actually gotten involved in the operation and uh, we, we run and manage the company together with our, with our foreign partners. And obviously there's a skills transfer which is happening, which is very important also for the young people because you know, we, we unfortunately can't um, expect also the, our older generation who fought for our freedom and our independence now to also take up the battle for economic emancipation of our, of our country and of our people. So that, that, that responsibility, uh, responsibility rests mainly with the young people. And this is why it's a great opportunity for, for young people to come in. As you heard uh, the minister recently in his address, at his annual address, he said that he will be calling again for new rights this year. It hasn't yet happened, um, but it will happen very soon. Uh, the government obviously is just going through the, the, how can you say, going through the ropes of getting everything sorted out and they'll eventually uh, make this announcement. And it will not be done in secret, as some people maybe tend to think, and it will be announced, it will be on the news, I'm sure you people will also cover it, and, uh, and everybody will get an opportunity to apply. So I, I definitely would advise all the young people to, to, who are interested in getting involved in the industry, they must use that opportunity to apply for rights. Don't think, oh, because your father or your parents or your uncles are not uh, politicians that you can't get it. That's not the case. The, the industry is open to all, all Namibians. And everyone, if you, if you comply with the criteria set out by the ministry, you definitely have an opportunity to get a quota, or to get a right, and then eventually, obviously, a quota. While we're speaking to our, our share, our investors, and we've agreed that they also want, uh, they have no problem with us increasing our 42%, we are trying to focus on what the ministry and the ministry of, ministry of Fisheries wants, which is the uh, acquisition of a factory, or building up a factory on land, because this, the idea of having a vessel was a ministry agenda to have a vessel. We've fulfilled that, 
Now we want to focus on putting up a factory on land and possibly with that combination of having a factory on land and the vessel, we could acquire more equity in the vessel that we own. It's taken some time to come this way, so we are quite happy that this day is actual now and it's done. Um, I'm happy with the cooperation with the, the JV partners. So well, in general, a happy day. With all the controversy surrounding fishing quotas these days, we asked Fisheries Minister Bernard Essau how more Namibians can benefit from fishing quotas. Presently, you have over 300 companies, uh, in Namibian companies, who are benefiting through rights in the fishing industry. There are also other over 10,000 Namibians benefiting from, through employment through jobs that is created by the industry. And our economy in total is benefiting more than 10 billion Namibian dollars. So the benefits triggers down to education, it triggers down to health, it triggers down to infrastructure development through taxes, the payment of taxes by these companies, the payment of uh, levies, quota, quota fees to government. So. Even education is benefiting from this very, very resource. So more Namibians, a lot of Namibians are benefiting on an annual basis from the lendings of this resource. They can get employment from the companies which are in existence. Those who are entrepreneurial, they can apply for rights and also benefit through ownership in the, in, in, in the resource. Uh, uh, so they can also they can benefit in that fashion. The, through corporate social responsibility programs of the individual right holders, Namibians are also benefiting through the donations of fish, through the donation of funds, money to, 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 to communities. So a lot, a lot of people are really benefiting from this very sector, fishing.